I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it is my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, anger, dumping versus dealing. You're having an absolutely lousy day at work. Your boss is being entirely unreasonable, expecting you to do three things at once. And when you do exactly what she asked you to do, she balls you out. When you try, biting your tongue very hard so as not to scream, to gently point out that you were only following her directives, you get yelled at even louder. At this point, there is nothing you would like better than to scream bloody murder, grab your boss by the throat, and throw them bodily out of the window. (sighs) Ah, which of course is very hard to do when all you have is a computer screen. But hey, You'd even settle for just telling them off, as long as you could do it at top volume. But oh no, that little voice within you kicks in with, now this is your boss, they could fire you, and then where would you be? So you just sigh, squashing all those feelings. Then, when your day is done and your SO forgot to pick up dinner, bathe the kids, or whatever other responsibility was theirs that day, again, all you want to do is slaughter them. But, once again, that little voice says, You can't do that. You're a good person. Good people don't slaughter others. They forgive and forget. So, what's the big deal? Besides, if you yell at them, maybe they won't love you anymore. And maybe you aren't that good person you think you are. Maybe you really are just a horrible, angry, abusive person. And so you sigh, squashing all those feelings. As saintly as it might seem, squashing angry feelings may end up killing you. There is a high correspondence between stuffed angry feelings, especially resentment, and cancer. Stuffing feelings leads to heart attacks, ulcers, and various other highly unpleasant conditions. But I don't want to go around dumping my anger all over other people, you say. Well, of course you don't. That would be highly inappropriate. Yeah, that's right. Dumping would be inappropriate, but dealing with your anger is appropriate. Dumping would consist of yelling at your boss or partner. Dealing with your anger consists of expressing that same anger in a safe, appropriate manner and then communicating it safely and appropriately. Expressing your anger safely is most easily and effectively done either through writing your feelings in the form of a letter that you never send, shall we repeat, that you never send, or writing your feelings in your private journal, or beating the heck out of a pillow safely placed in the middle of your bed, pillow named boss or SO or whatever. Or, of course, you can vent your anger in meditation. Now, how can you express your anger in meditation? It's simple. Sit in a quiet, comfortable room where you won't be disturbed for about mm, 20 minutes. No mobile, nothing. Close your eyes, relax your body, take three deep, calming breaths, and then picture in your mind's eye your boss or partner or whoever and yell at them, silently, of course, in your head. Say whatever it is you have to say. Get physical with them if that feels right. Beat them up, tear off their arms and legs, roll with them in the mud, whatever. You cannot harm another being in meditation if, and it's a big if, your intent is to release anger. If your intent is that when you're done with the meditation, that person will be crippled for life, stop, just S-T-O-P, stop. That's the wrong intent. But as long as you are clear that your intent is release of anger, all is well. Keep releasing until you feel spent. Then take a nice deep breath, open your eyes, and there, you're done. No repressed, stuffed anger to hurt you, and no yelling at your boss or partner, which could hurt both of you. Now that you've released the anger, figure out what you need to say to your boss or whomever, what you need to communicate. Make it specific, direct, and goal-oriented. By that I mean, Don't be out for revenge or to make yourself right. That won't work. Figure out what you want and go for that. For example, boss, I'm confused. I want to do a good job for you, but 
I'm unclear as to what you want done first. Please tell me. Or, beloved partner of mine, I'd like us to find a way to make sure all the daily chores get handled easily. What are your thoughts? Be willing to negotiate to get what you need. Remember, negotiating is far more life-affirming than stuffing your feelings or dumping ill will on others. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my doom book, I Survived COVID-19, What Now? Finding Happiness and Success in a Post-COVID World. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, as well as my website, noelnelson.com, or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. And until next time, be well and take care.